Thank you for downloading this Real Agriculture podcast. Next thing you know, you know the next thing. Next is Now is a short podcast discussing agriculture's emerging next-gen tech and trends as they're happening in our industry. Next is Now, presented by GFL Ag. Listen where you get your podcasts today. Bernard Tobin here at the Commodity Classic in Houston, Texas. I am catching up now with Don Kyle. He is a soybean breeder for Pioneer Corteva. Don, how's it going? It's going really good. Excited to be here at Commodity Classic. Yeah, lots going on here. You've just announced the release of the Z-Series soybeans. Um, you know, pretty exciting news here. Agronomics, increased yield, disease tolerance, a lot to unpack. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when we think about releasing a new series, we're just trying to signal, hey, there's something really different going on here. And when we think about A series going to Z series, it is different. Z series is a step change improvement. Yeah. Now, you said you're a data guy, or a data guy, and uh, you talked about a 2.7 bushel advantage for the Z series over the A series. Let's let's let, let, let's talk about where that comes from, starting with genetics, obviously. Yeah, so, you know, as plant breeders, we're not just trying to increase yield, but we're trying to stabilize that yield performance across a range of environments and protect it. And so 2.7 bushels more for the yield potential in the environments where we did all this testing and expect that it, when we see particular diseases or agronomic issues show up, you're going to see even more performance out of your Z-series because of that improvement in agronomics and disease on top of the, the 2.7. Let's talk about some of that disease and some of those challenges, especially in Canada. Yeah. We have soybean cyst nematode, and you're running in some peaking genetics here, and um, you've also got something for white mold here. Yeah, absolutely. So we've been working on peaking varieties for a while, and, and we have some peaking varieties in A-series. We're just expanding that with Z-series. We're going to continue to bring some new peaking varieties out there. A different source of SCN resistance besides PAD 788, one that farmers can use to bring nematode numbers down and rotate back and forth between peaking and I88 to keep those nematode na numbers under control. And then white mold, really tough disease to breed for because obviously it's a very aggressive fungus. It can really hit farmer yields hard and there isn't a solid set of resistance for it. There's just an increasing of tolerance. And so we've been breeding for increased tolerance for a number of years. A lot of small genes, they have to accumulate in a variety to protect it from white mold. And that's what we've done with Z-Series. We use our latest breeding analytics and our selection in our screening environments to make sure that we had better white mold tolerance. And so, you know, in, in some of these early maturities where white mold's really important, uh, maturity group one, two, we're seeing over a full score improvement in white mold tolerance over eight series. Yeah. And you also talked about lodging. Obviously, we need those beans to stand. Yeah, yeah, because you get those years where you just get tons of rain in August, you got a nice heavy pod load on there, beans start leaning over. Well, that's not a great thing. So not only have we increased the amount of yield on that plant, we've increased the ability for that plant to stand. Talk a little bit more about stability here. Yeah. Um, you know, we, you know, we never know what a new season is going to bring. We never, you know, and obviously disease challenges are going to be. What is, what's the definition of stability from your perspective? Yeah, from my perspective, you know, you think about, like, you, you get varieties that work, can work really well, being a plant breeder in a particular environment. But the problem is, is we don't always know what the weather's going to be like. So if we looked at the data we collected in 2023 and saw, oh, well, these certain genetics basically performed really well in 2023, but then 2024 turns out to be a much wetter year or a different set of diseases show up, then we get this instability. That variety that was good last year isn't good this year. Well, our farmer obviously wants a variety that's good across years because they don't know what this is going to be. And so when we, as we developed Z-Series, we were looking at stability of performance across years to make sure that we had good performance, whether it's a dry year, wet year, a wet environment, whether it was a little lighter soils or heavier soils, trying to find varieties that stably perform and bring an out uh, very high yield outcome. Final question for you, Don, and that is the rollout. Um, uh, sounds like a, sort of like a soft launch, some availability in 24 yep. um, and a full availability in 25. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So, you know, we just advanced these products to Z-Series, new products last fall in the fall of 2023. Uh, we've got a little bit to sell for 2024. We're doing a ton of seed production. And when we get to 2025, readily available. Farmers should be able to get uh, a good supply of Z-Series products out there. What about specifically Canadian farmers? 
Yeah, we've taken care of the Canadian farmers too, man. We love the Canadian farmers. I love the Canadian farmers. So yeah. So right I, I hear that about, about 20 varieties? Yeah, about 20 varieties we've launched in Canada. Question for you, and you were asked about this in the presentation. Um, a to Z, that's a big jump. Tell us more about that philosophy of going from A to Z. Yeah, well, when you look back in the history of Pioneer, we've been in the soybean business for 50 years. And the first series of beans we sold were B series. And then we went to M series, and then we went to Y series, and then we went to T series, and then to A series. And, and customers have experienced improved performance each of those times. And Z series basically is the biggest jump that I've seen in my plant breeding career, and I've been with the company nearly half that time. Great. Hey, Don, really appreciate you making some time for real agriculture. Yeah, you bet. Great to be here. I'm glad you interviewed me. Thanks.